Hey everyone, Rob here, and I got some updates coming out of the meteorological office here in Iceland. Now, what we're looking at right now is the new risk assessment map that has come out today, January 25th, 2024. And Along with this, they say that the land rise continues due to magma accumulation under the area of Svartsengi. Now, if you're wondering where that is, we have Grindavik down here at the bottom. We have Stora Skogafell here, and Svartsengi is, let me just zoom in here, uh, down here, right by the Blue Lagoon. Uh, in this middle area, we see the Blue Lagoon just here to the left. Now, in recent days, land has risen by up to 8 millimeters per day which is slightly faster than it was measured before the eruption on january 14th now at this point it's difficult to say how much magma has actually accumulated since the eruption ended on january 16th and that last eruption was only two days it is likely that the time it takes to reach the same level of magma as before the last eruption is measured in weeks rather than days is what they say uh, computational models are being worked on to get a clearer picture of the state of magma accumulation now, seismic activity in the area remains mild, uh, as the video I did just uh, recently showed, and is mostly around Hagafet. And if we take a look, that is down here, uh, right north of Grindavik. So it's uh, this part here of the map, right under where it says uh, Svaili 3. Uh, now, it can be said that the seismic activity that's currently being measured is in line with the activity that has been observed in the area following volcanic eruptions. The Meteorological Agency and the Weather Service has issued an updated risk assessment, which we see here. The main changes from this are that the overall risk assessment for Grindavik has been lowered to orange, which is considerable risk. And if we take a look at the old risk assessment, there we go, we see that Grindavik as well as the area above it was red, and now it's changed to this orange color. And we also have a change from uh, the top area here, number two and number five. We see those going from orange to yellow and from yellow to green and green being basically the lowest level before they remove it. So this is a this is a safe zone, basically, is what they're saying now. Um, little or, you know, very little risk in uh, in area five. The Blue Lagoon still is uh, a level up from that. And then, of course, we have the eruption areas and Grindavik, which is from there. Now, it should be noted they say that although the overall risk assessment for Grindavik has been lowered by one point, the risk associated with cracks is still assessed as very high. It is the hazard that is now called crack collapse, more or less, which is the ground, uh, just giving away, describes a hazard that may exist where cracks are hidden beneath an unstable surface that may give way. Kind of like a sinkhole or something like that. Uh, basically, a very thin layer of earth that you just kind of fall through. However, the risk assessment in relation to fissure movements within Grindavik has been lowered. It is being assessed whether there is a risk that cracks that have already formed will grow or that new cracks will form. GPS data shows that very little movement has been detected within Grindavik in the last few days, and therefore the risk is estimated to be lower than it was before. The risk from crack movements is now estimated to be considerable. So we see here... These are the differences. A couple of things that I noticed, and I'm going to zoom zoom in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to zoom in exactly on the same spot on both. Uh, pretty close. Let's see if we can do it. But we can see that uh, they've added in the barrier around the Blue Lagoon. I don't think I'm going to be able to line it up. Uh, but they have this barrier here. So we can see here now the barrier that goes around the Blue Lagoon. And then, of course, on the other side. And uh, we also see, I'm going to zoom out just because... Down in the map of Grindavik, we see some of the landscape in the sort of geography around Grindavik changing as well. So if we take a look at the bottom left corner, we see some of that changing throughout the map. So it's interesting that they're updating the actual, you know, basis of these maps as they're doing this. So this is all coming out of the meteorological office. Now let's take a quick look here at some of the seismic activity that they've been mentioning we can see that is very little. Now, last night here in Iceland, there was a quite a windy storm and it was keeping everyone up all through the night. So that may affect a lot of the instruments and the measurements that they're taking through here. So give that uh, kind of with a grain of salt. But the last video I did, we saw that this area 
very few of these tremors or earthquakes were measuring above a magnitude of one. And now we're seeing that we're getting spikes of a, a handful of them creeping up there, getting close to a magnitude of two. Now, I'm not sure if this says anything, if this tells us anything. Uh, but the one thing I do know is before the eruption that occurred in January, we saw a significant slowdown in seismic activity. And then, you know, just shortly before it erupted, we saw the seismic activity spike up and then hit the eruption. So I always wonder if we're in that same direction, even though we have these sort of downgrades in the danger area. Now, what I also wonder is what happens in the next, uh, you know, week or so before the next risk assessment and uh, the land is continuing to rise. And if, basically, if we're looking at some of the news coming in here, we see that the land is rising. Again, it's a similar information coming out faster than it was before the last eruption. So it's curious to me how we have an, basically a similar scenario to what we saw before the eruption. And yet the risk assessment is going down. Now I get every passing day that there's not an eruption. Maybe it uh, is less likely. I'm not sure, but with the land rise going in the direction that it is, and we saw the land rising after the eruption in December, leading to our January eruption, and now we're seeing the same sort of thing. January eruption, land rising yet again, surpassing what it was before. And, it, you know, a lot of people are saying that it's going to erupt uh, in the near future, but here we are downgrading the risk. So that's the news for today. Uh, not a lot. There's a big snowstorm going on in Iceland. A lot of car, car crashes. Power was out in the Reykjanes Peninsula and in Reykjavik. High power, high voltage failure or something like that. Uh, we all thought it had something to do with the volcano, but it apparently is not. And they have worked to fix that. So that's all the news. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, uh, hope you subscribe just to keep up to date. So thanks so much.